This exercise on the kick, guys, you're going to try and hit the ball with your frame. You can hit it with your frame. If you miss, no problem. It's just for the feel. The idea is get your frame to the ball and past. Okay? And there we go. Can I get my frame to hit? There we go. Can I get my frame to hit the ball? Once you've done a couple of those, this is going to teach you how to not open your strings too soon. Once you get that feeling, then you go into your normal. There we go. And again. That's right. Many players have the, have the problem of opening too soon. You can't kick. Get the, the frame to the ball first, then release at the end only. Back more kick, guys. Do this exercise. Don't change your technique. Do this. Hit the serve. Try and stop your racket on top. It's going to teach you the kick motion. There. Stop. There. Stop. There. Stop. Once you get that feeling, you go to full swing and you can release a bit more. And again. So I'm still getting that motion before I release. Hope you enjoy that drill guys. Enjoy more having more kick on your kick serve. Quick little tip on the contact point for the flat serve, kick serve, slice serve. The flat serve, you want to be able to go flat into the ball. The slice serve, you want to go from right to left, right to left, that way. The kick serve, you got to go from left to right, left to right. That's the contact point for the three serves, guys. Guys, too many players on the kick serve that try to have the same swing pattern like the first serve, and it's so hard. It's hard to kick the ball when you're swinging straight through the ball. The magic on the kick serve happens when this motion is going. It's almost like tr trying to throw a ball straight, throw a ball straight up in the air. This here is where you have to get strong and that's going to give you a kick. There, that feeling. There, that feeling. This is the magic guys on the kick serve. Quick tip on the serve guys. When you serve, don't pull this left arm down all the way too soon too much it's very very hard to time that ball okay it's okay to pull the left arm down but pull it down into the belly first so as you hit pull it down into the belly and then release look something like this then release into the belly then release one more to the belly then release hey guys continental grip for kick serve you can get away with but it's not ideal let me show you quick Nice amount of kick, but I actually want to beg you today. I want to beg you consider bevel number one. Almost it's like an eastern backhand grip. Consider using that for your kick serve. Even if it feels hard for the first two to three weeks, I'm begging you, if you stick it out on bevel number one, your kick serve will be a lot better. Okay guys, one tip that's gonna improve your kick serve today, and I'm gonna go a step further. If, you want, if you're struggling with your kick serve, um, and you're not getting kick, it's probably because your ball toss for your first serve is in one place, and now you're trying to kick serve as well with the same ball toss. I wanna give you some advice. Instead of having the exact same ball toss, don't be afraid to go ball toss a little bit to the left. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help you to kick up on the serve, okay? So all I want you to do is have is, don't be afraid to change your ball toss a little bit to the left 
and then falling into the same tip I want you to have the ball I want you to have the ball drop a little bit lower because remember a kick serve is when you can go from, la from low to high over the ball and the only way you can get that going is if the ball is dropping down a little bit and then you can hit up so let me show you the change if I go ball toss a little bit more to the left all of a sudden I'm, I'm able to kick it because it's more natural for me it's more natural for me to kick, kick up and to the left when the ball is more to the left and then add on to that add on to that the ball have the ball drop a little bit lower so it's to the left and then wait for the ball to drop slightly lower so you can kick up. Now I'm going to let it drop and notice how I can hit more up. There we go. Wait for it to drop. There we go. Very, very important tip to have more kick. Um, but this is not my favorite. I've got two favorite tips that I tell all my players to do. It's magical tips. If you want to go watch that video on the screen right now, please support me by subscribing. I'll appreciate that.